Industrial plate heat exchangers look something like this. They consist of a thick metal cover on the front as well as the rear of the unit, which is typically made from mild steel. There are two inlets and two outlets, which are normally flange connections. In most designs, we find all four ports located on the front plate as this allows the heat exchanger to be easily extended or reduced to accommodate a future change in operation. Most heat exchangers do not have this ability. Between the end covers, we find a number of plates, which are thin sheets of metal with a pattern stamped into them. Typically, these will be made from stainless steel. These patterns will help direct the fluids and create a very turbulent flow, which increases the heat transfer. Between each of these plates is a seal known as a gasket. This is typically made from rubber. These gaskets separate the plates, creating a thin channel between them which fluid can then flow through. On each plate, the gasket will block two of the four ports, meaning only one fluid can enter and exit. The next plate will allow the second fluid to pass. This alternates throughout the heat exchanger and keeps the two fluids completely separated. Only the thermal energy will flow through the sheets. The entire unit is held together with some long bolts which compress the gaskets to form a very tight seal. These heat exchangers are very common for heating and cooling. For example, an incinerator power plant burns household waste to generate heat. This creates steam, which drives a turbine and generates electricity. The waste thermal energy then passes through a plate heat exchanger to heat a district heating network, and other buildings will then connect to this heat network, also via a plate heat exchanger, to supply their own heating demands. This will be instead of them operating their own individual boiler. Check out one of these videos to continue learning about mechanical and thermal engineering as this is the end of the video. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok as well as the engineeringmindset.com.